Hi everyone, just a quick channeling during a major geomagnetic solar storm, uh, May 11th, 2024. I'm just going to very quickly tell you what's on my mind. Uh, this video will not be um, edited too uh, much because I am um, trying to get it out there quickly as uh, this is happening in real time. And there will actually be um, auroras visible, I believe, where I'm at tonight. So I'm not seeing any right now, but I really feel the energy, and um, I'm going to try to articulate all uh, to you all what I am feeling. So um, there's kind of a standoff happening right now. Uh, there's a move. There is a shifting of dynamics. There is kind of a holdup and a stopping, I feel, happening for some people here as they pass through uh, somewhere that they've been holding or harbored in for a long time. Um, okay, everyone, this geomagnetic solar storm is activating the previous shadow areas. This means that a lot of people are getting out of dodge. This means that a lot of people are um, getting in each other's ways. Uh, there's a traffic issue here, and there is also um, a breaking apart of the previous uh, psychological conditioning for a lot of people. Um, things are about to become less cerebral. Okay, um, so the main message that I need to give to you all, um, May 11th, 2024, uh, coming through this um, portal that we're moving through uh, during this solar storm. Again, solar storms, it's uh, very similar in energy to you know a thunderstorm or a, a natural disaster, even though we can't see it like that at a level of light and frequency, that is what's happening. So we are going through a storm right now. Um, something is trying to pass through, something is trying to clear up. And um, by uh, between this time, and I would say even the next two or three days, so until like May 13th, May 14th, 2024, and then more widely um, leading up uh, through the month of June, uh, we are going to get out of the head a little bit, okay? Um, things are going, the consciousness is going to go more into the body, and we need to think more about the simple movements that we're making. I'm seeing a lot of overcomplication here. I'm seeing a lot of dark matter as a result of overcomplication, as a result of over psychologizing even, is that a word? Like making things too psychological, thinking about very, um, what would be the word? Arbitrary matters, thinking about things too sort of um, out of reality. So, um, it's a very important time to kind of like relax into the reality of the situation, trying to move on the momentum that's more appropriate for you, trying to distance yourself from a need to uh, restrict or a need to confine yourself to perfectionism or to confine yourself to impulsiveness, to conf confine yourself to compulsiveness as well. I'm seeing a lot of um, compulsive behavior really being highlighted here. Um, also, injury and uh, so so dark matter. Dark matter is the word coming up. It's really scrambling and it's starting to undo itself at a lot of levels. This does mean that the energy is lightening. This does mean that the energy is um, beginning to become visible. And it means that uh, some of the mysteries are being unraveled here or some of the things which we have not understood about ourselves or understood about the systems that we're dealing with in day-to-day -day life. These things on one hand may be challenged but also they can be brought to light or they can be solved and resolved. Um, so resolution is happening in an unseen way. We also have um, Jupiter and Venus coming together, um, not visible in uh, the sun. Okay, so we have these uh, major Taurus stelliums uh, building up with Uranus, Sun, Jupiter, Venus. Um, and they're all coming together to really break up the previous material ideation and to really start to generate new phenomenon and new new ways for us to connect ourselves at a conscious level to the ground and to the um, level of consciousness that we've selected more properly. Um, so also there's a distortion in the levels of consciousness. This means that some of us have a certain idea in our head about who we are or what we're doing. Meanwhile, we're not giving it to ourselves or we're enacting a different kind of regime. So there's going to be more of a um, solidity on that front happening here and more of a need to um, bring ourselves justice and grace within our self-ideation compared to the real choices that we're making. Decomplication is the key concept here. Simplification. Um, we're in a major Taurus time. We've just uh, come past a new moon in Taurus 
and uh, major Taurus stellium. So um, it just cannot be very complex, anything that we're dealing with. I feel that any difficulty during this time, any shadow is as a result of overcomplicating things, working within too many layers, working within, you know, incohesive structures or sort of like juxtaposed goals or juxtaposed uh, paths. But um, let me introduce you to some of the positives uh, that are coming through as a result of this uh, major solar storm that we're going through uh, with, of course, many planets connecting to it, uh, the aforementioned Taurus stellium. Um, a lot of scars are going to start fading away. So a lot of things which have been dark matter, right, like which is the energy of a scar, something that's been damaged or destroyed, something that has been um, in pain or stressed or just at odds with itself, this can be alleviated here. This can be a status changing time as well. Um, this can be a time of gaining territory. This can be a time of easy alleviation of a long running question. Like for so many years, I have been stuck in a rat race and through what has happened during this time in some way or another that is alleviated. For so many years, I've had sort of like a scar or a um, inability to function properly in a certain area of my life. And now all of the dark matter and collapsed energy that was basically supporting that is being broken up. So the darkness is fragmenting here. There is a lot brighter energy coming in and there's a new ambient effect starting to set up, which is really, really positive for people who care about the sanctity and totality of their experience. What do I mean? So people who are not just caught up on immediate gratification, people who are not just caught up on um, taking advantage or um, reaping the quickest benefit possible or, um, you know, gambling mm, psychology. Also people who are kind of like transcending a certain two or even three dimensional timeline or life experience. Um, it's very positive because the ambient effect is basically going to um, change in a way that kind of gives you relevance or not just relevance, but it almost gives you a new kind of currency or a new kind of lease on life, but it has to be materially relevant to the previous story at the same time. So it's very difficult to articulate the um, very, what would I say, the very progressive and electrifying energy of Uranus and Taurus, the grounding, the, the, the energy of thunder and lightning, you know, as when I'm saying grounding, I'm meaning like a, something that is conducive to electricity. Um, this is channeling through these solar storms right now. So ideas are coming through, electricity is popping up, um, things have more energy, maybe accounts are refunded, or um, there's an, again, new lease on life or some type of status ailment, some type of status ailment, some type of scar, some type of corrupted systems, almost like a, also like something in a system that was not functioning properly now does. So it's like maybe like a new engine in the car or like a new transmission or something. There's something that really important that was like broken, which can now start to function again, because basically what was occluding the proper functionality is kind of being like broken up here. Now it doesn't mean that it's gone. So this can also be a time where we see like, okay, this is kind of like a middle of the way result. Like it's not working perfectly, but at least I don't have to buy a brand new car or at least, you know, maybe this isn't my dream house, but at least I'm not in the rent game anymore. There are a lot of these kind of like middle of the way paths and these paths you all will give you so much in the future. But it does, yes, it does change the psyche or it changes the way that we self-view when we see these medium-term outcomes. Because, you know, a lot of people, they don't want them. They want these extremes. They want these all-or-nothing realities. They want these, they want to, like, label things in, like, rich or poor or hot or cold or north or south, east or west. And um, the funny thing is, is that the very, like, shamanic and quantum powerful route here is in a principled kind of middle of the way path. But the popular culture, you know, if you're very tied into the collective consciousness, it's just not gonna freaking feel good.
Okay, you get what I mean? It's like, so what this means is that in a way, what doesn't feel good right now may just give dividend after dividend in the future. But it will also kind of shift the pathways that you're currently in in your life, and it will change your self-perception a little bit, most likely in a positive way. But um, yes, also, all of our shadow sides are about to kind of fragment a little bit. So if we have, you know, either in us or in people in our lives that we know, any type of major shadows operating, you know, like a dissociation, narcissism, uh, depression, pain, um, PTSD, um, you know, never ending stories, uh, need for desperate needs for closure, uh, you know, obsessing or compulsing over things, you know, like neuroses and manias and all this like uh, shadow um, pain response, coping mechanism responses. These things are about to experience some healing through their real middle of the way path options that we choose now through in some ways giving to every option or giving to every possibility or simplifying and doing things one at a time. This is not a yes or no, all or nothing equation that we're in. It can't be in Taurus. Taurus is too integrative. Taurus is too, um, it's too giving to single anything out or to, you know, cancel anything out either. And the solar storm is kind of like um, breaking up a lot of that dark matter that has us convinced that we need to choose one or the other, or we need to be so extreme or so sort of decision oriented right now. It's kind of a hard time for major decisions, but um, most of the time they need to be middle of the way decisions. Um, and there's a really kind of like groundbreaking force that's actually coming in here, which this is going to like break through so much for some of you listening to this. Some of you really need to hear this. You actually can't do it wrong. Okay. You might be putting way too much force and leverage onto the decisions that are in front of you right now. And you might be thinking, okay, if I go here, I'll never be able to do this again. Or if I um, make this decision, it's forever. It's not, okay, it's not, but it, it's alleviating a status ailment, okay? The decision, the, there's a middle-of-the-way decision needing to come through for people right now that has to do with alleviating a certain status ailment, but it's so important and conditional to the degree that you don't feel that it's like necessarily a forever decision or that you feel that, or you break through, or you break through some type of um, psychological habit of like being too extreme in thinking or too totalistic or too um, nihilistic, perhaps. Nihilistic thinking is something that's really breaking through right now with the sun, Uranus, moon, uh, Jupiter, Venus, all in Taurus. You know, Taurus is not nihilistic. It's the opposite. So we're coming face to face with our own nihilism. We're coming face to face with our own shadow and that of the people around us as it would be prevalent in every single person. You'd be able to identify it. And it's basically going to start kind of fragmenting up. It's going to start kind of, um, it's going to be less powerful than it was before. So for people who base a lot of their life on shadow or pain or grief, um, it will be harder. There are going to be a lot of middle of the way solutions that kind of give you, yep, actually an opportunity for healing because it's not extreme and it's not like the fire element, right? It's the earth element. So it's, um, more about time orientation and you know stillness and silence than it is about um you know increasing your scope of vision tenfold in one day or you know all of these like fiery ideas which are still so um wanted by a lot of people right now and yes um it's going to be harder to do things alone okay harder to do things alone harder to be by ourselves we need support we need perhaps um connections in different industries we need um alliances okay if you would look around uh here we are yes in a taurus very taurian paradigm if you look around you're going to see that achieving the next level or connecting to the you know maybe more extreme way of your thinking it's going to require um support from others or it's going to require um some type of integrative approach whether this is like 
buying a new house, okay, is that's going to be happening for some people, new material acquisitions with all this Taurus energy. You know, it takes a few people. Maybe it takes like a realtor or it takes a banker or it takes, you know, connections with people who are on the other end of it or something. Or if you're wanting to like get to your next degree program, maybe it takes, you know, recommendations or it takes um, some kind of support. Or if you're wanting to get to the next level in your career, um, it's going to require um, people vouching for you or something. So we're in such an integrative time, such a cellular time that we're in, as opposed to a singled out or sort of like absolute unitary time like we were in, for example, in like 2020 to about mm, end of 2022, uh, which a lot of people are still hanging on to that psychology, but it's just different now. It's a lot more integrative. It's a lot more connective. And um, we start to see that getting certain results in these current types of systems, it just requires a lot of collaboration and it requires a lot of connectivity. So that's why in a lot of cases, some of these shadow tendencies or some of this dark matter, it has to be kind of like faced in order to um, allow ourselves to connect almost. So people who struggle with isolation or people who struggle with um, being kind of separatist or secluded um it can be very empowering but it would feel quite monastic and it would feel it would feel kind of like a long run like a long haul kind of story that we're in which is not wrong for some people um, but it is important that we know that it's what we want um finally okay matters of urgency that's something that's wanting to come up as well um, as we're shining light on things again solar storms being like kind of a spiritual metaphor for finally kind of like turning on a flashlight or shining light onto something um, matters of urgency matters of rushing matters of oversaturation okay urgency and rushing comes from a perceived sense of doom or a perceived sense of a end in sight. Meaning that we feel like we don't have much more time to do something or we, that this is why we have urgency. Meaning that we feel there's something against us or we feel antagonized in some way. Um, a lot of that has been alleviated and we can step into a much more natural energy. It's one of the gifts of a Taurus time. Although Uranus kind of kind of contradicts this, but, you know, nonetheless, it's a very important time to really question our sense of urgency and ask, is this legitimate or is this like a fear spectrum? Is this anxiety based? Because I'm seeing a lot of us need to get out of urgency because it's kind of like the the never ending tortoise or hare story, right? Like it's not necessarily the person who rushes or who moves quickly or darts around. Like that's not necessarily the person who wins. Okay. In fact, it usually isn't. It takes a very lucky person who is a rushes or has urgency to do well. Um, so Taurus is slow. Taurus processes things slowly. Taurus is almost maybe one of the slowest signs of the Zodiac. So we've got to slow down in some cases here. We've got to be okay with stillness. It's quite hard on the fire signs of the Zodiac right now. But um, in that is more energy. In that is more respite and frequency. It's a very important time of reservoir. You all, it's a very important time of replenishing and, and, um, management and personal essence saving, I want to say. So really try to come past any need here to spend everything that you have, to use all of your energy every day, to rush around, to pour all the energy out, um, because it's partly because of that type of frequency that things feel like they do now. So it's important to overcome that. But anyway, everyone, that's just my channeling. I hope you enjoyed it. I wanted to put it up for you all. Um, and I hope that you have a wonderful um, experience of solar storms. Uh, take from, from this what resonated and uh, feel free to disregard anything that did not. Um, I just wanted to come on and talk to you all about it. Have a great one. Bye.